Good evening, Andrea Michel. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Fine. And you? Great. I'm doing great. Thank you. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Pesado. Oh, it was hard. Okay. Did you have to work? ¿Te tocó trabajar ahora? No, pero he estado con un montón de cosas aquí en la casa. Ah, oh, okay. Yes, yeah, um, it was good. Just I went to the dentist. So yeah, that's something I don't like. But anyways, we have to do it. And then, well, it was okay. I didn't have much to do today. So it was relaxing. It was good. Qué bueno. Thank you. Have you been working in the platform, Andrea? Eh, ahorita por la sección 4.10. Okay, perfect. En la tarde estoy trabajando en eso. All right, that's nice. ¿Qué tal has sentido los contenidos? Los, y los Dice que ahorita están en el presente continuo y la verdad es que me está costando un poquito entenderlo. O sea, a simple vista lo veo bien fácil, pero ya de empezarla a conjugar siento que está un poquito más difícil. Ok. Eh, bueno, solo para darle así una idea, eh, utilizamos el verb be, ¿verdad? Ahí lo va uh -huh. a ir... Lo va a ir escogiendo según el sujeto. I am, um, you are, he is, she is. Igual como lo hemos aprendido, ¿verdad? En las tres formas. Am, mm -hmm. is, or are. Y después del verb be, necesitamos agregar un verbo en ing. Tiene que ir el verbo mm -hmm. en ing. Mm -hmm. Y es básicamente eso. Por ejemplo, cuando digo I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing Ahí utilizamos el sujeto I, am, the verb be, y luego wearing, mm -hmm. el verbo wear terminado en ing, y al final agregamos el complemento shorts. Eso sería, mm -hmm. eh, esa sería la estructura que utilizamos. Y también eh, en cuanto al uso del present continuous, es para hablar de cosas que están pasando en el momento de hablar. Por ejemplo, cuando digo I'm wearing, es lo que estoy usando, ¿verdad? Lo que estoy vistiendo. Sí. So that is something happening at the moment. Es algo que uh -huh. está pasando en el momento en que estoy diciéndolo. Sí, sí. Sí, sí, eso lo entendí. La cuestión está que siento que el momento de hacerlo yo, siento que me voy a quedar como en la luna porque, o sea, Sí entiendo la fórmula de que primero va como el sujeto, después va el verbo to be, uh -huh. después va como, quiero ver, el verbo con el ing y de por último el complemento. Exacto. O sea, eso lo entiendo, pero ya al momento de querer conjugarlo siento que sí me va a costar. Porque, o sea, oh. pensar en todo de un solo siento que va a ser como un poquito más complicado. Oh, just keep on practicing. Eso con la práctica vamos a irlo mejorando. So don't worry about it. Just continue practicing. <laughs> Good evening, Christian Lopez. Good, e Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm well, thanks. How was your day? It was busy day. Oh, it was busy, okay. You had to work, I imagine. Yeah. Okay. And how are you doing with the platform, Christian? Yes, I am lesson 5.13. Oh, 5.13. My gosh, you're almost done. That's good. Great. All right, excellent. Thanks. Good evening, Midei. Good evening, teacher. 
¿Qué tal? Bien, ¿y usted? Bien. ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Bien. Ok. ¿Trabajando siempre? Sí, en la casa. En casita. Sí, tanto que hacer, ¿verdad? <ríe> ¿Y cómo va con la plataforma, Midi? Este, voy a la 5.5. Ah, muy bien. Ya vamos bastante adelantados. Ok, excelente. Sigue trabajando entonces. Ok, gracias. Good evening, Ana Baños. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? Hi, and you? I'm pretty well, thank you. Okay. How was your day? Bye. Bye. Okay, that's nice. Have you been working in the platform? Sí, fíjese que yo prácticamente ya casi termino las cinco lecciones. Solo he tenido problema en un punto en el 513 que no logro identificar un sonido por mucho que por mucho que creo que es porque es a mí me parece que están viendo televisión o que están jugando video o no sé qué, pero ese es el único. Cuando termine eso voy a pasar a los, a, hacerlo, a terminar los foros porque no los he terminado y luego voy a hacer el examen. O sea que sí, digo yo que voy, voy más o menos. You're doing pretty well. That's nice. So let's check that, that exercise. You say five point... Uh, which one is it? 5.13. 5.13. Okay. Uh -huh, sí. So we could check it. Let's see. Este, correcto. Okay, so it says, what's Mary doing? Listen to the sounds and respond in each numeral. Follow the example. Okay. So we must listen, let's see. Answer questions about each sound. One. Two. So which one is the one you're having trouble with? ¿Cuál es el, el que le está costando? Es el cuatro, el punto cuatro. El cuarto, ok. Three. Four. Street next Wednesday night. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, so there you must write sentences, right? Using um, 
the present continuous. So let's see, number four, it sounds like, let's say it again. That's number two. Three. Street next Wednesday night. Five. Right, so number four seems to be she's watching television or she's watching TV. Ana? Sí, pero es que yo no escribo y siempre me sale malo. Okay, He let's try. TV. Miss, no será una radio. Yo lo escucho como si fuera una radio. Um, pero yo lo, puse, yo lo puse también como radio, listening. Let's see, television. Eh, y tampoco me funciona. Television. Okay, let me try with this one. Yeah, it marks it correct. She's watching ah. television. Entonces es por la contracción. Oh, maybe it's because of that. Uh huh. Because let oh, me see if it takes. Mm. No lo había puesto contractado. Okay. Gracias. All right, so that's the answer. You're welcome. Gracias. Estaba fácil entonces. Yes, right. Good evening, Gerardo. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, yeah, teacher. All right, that's nice. I'm glad to hear it. How's it going with the university? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo no con la universidad? <laughs> Ah, ya salí. Ah, ok. Ya toca inscribir de nuevo. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Excellent. Sí. Ok. In the platform, Gerardo, have you been working on it? Empezando a las 5 voy. Ok. Very good. Excellent. Good evening, Carlota Ruiz. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good. Okay, that's nice. How was your day? It's stressful. Stressful. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yes, it's sick. You were sick? Yes. Oh no, you need to take some rest. No lo entendí. You need to rest. Necesita descansar, entonces. Okay, and um, have you had any time to work in the platform, Carlota? ¿Cómo va con la plataforma? Por la 4.7. Voy un poquito okay. atrasadita con eso. Yeah, you're doing well. We got um, today and tomorrow to work on section number four, so we're good. Just keep on working. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with the class. I'd like to start by reviewing the clothes vocabulary that we studied yesterday. So let me just get this. Okay, so here we have um, two different kinds of clothes. We got clothes for work and also clothes for leisure. So I bet you may you may also uh, you may have seen the this video. So we're just going to practice pronunciation. Please repeat after me. Shirt. Shirt. Sure. Uh, tie. Tie. Belt. 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 Jacket. 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 Pants. Pants. And together a jacket and pants make a suit. Repeat please. Suit. 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 Again. Suit. 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 Okay. Then we have shoes. 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 Coat. 
Hot. 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 Okay, next one is blouse. 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 Scarf. 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 Uh, skirt. Skirt. High heels. High heels. High heels. Raincoat. 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 Dress. 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 Okay, on the other side, we got clothes for leisure. There we have hat. Repeat, please. Hat. 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 Gloves. 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 Sweater. 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 Jeans. 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 Boots. 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 Cap. 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 T-shirt. 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 Shorts. 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 Socks. Socks. Sneakers. 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 Pajamas. 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 Swimsuit. 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 Okay, so that's what we have for clothing. Do you have any questions about any of the words? Tenemos preguntas o consultas acerca de alguna de las palabras. Take a look and tell me. Camiseta, ¿cómo se pronuncia? T-shirt. That one is t-shirt. And be careful when pronouncing. Because, um, well, we got teacher, as you call me. And then we have t-shirt, so it's different, right? We got teacher, teacher. This one is t-shirt, t-shirt. So please repeat. T-shirt. Teacher. Teacher. Repeat. Teacher. 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 T-shirt. 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 Okay, just. Please keep on practicing both words. They sound different. Teacher, the first one, teacher. Then we got t-shirt. Teacher, t-shirt. So they sound different. Okay. All right, any other questions? No more. Okay, so now let's take a look at the colors. Let me play the video. I need you to pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. White. Gray. White. Dark gray. Gray. Beige. Dark gray. Light brown. Beige. Brown. Dark Light brown. brown. Black. Gray. Red. Pink. Gray. Orange. Yellow. Gray. Light green. Yellow. Green. Light green. Dark green. Green. Light blue. Dark green. Blue. Light blue. Dark blue. Blue. Purple. Now. Dark blue. Okay, so let's practice the pronunciation. Repeat, please. White. 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 Light gray. Light gray. Light gray. 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 gray, dark gray, dark, dark gray, gray. Beige. Beige. beige, beige, light brown, 
light brown. 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 Dark brown. Dark brown. Dark brown. Black. 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 Red. 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 Pink. 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 Orange. 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 Yellow. 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 Light green. Light, Light green. 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 Dark green. Dark, Dark green. green. Light blue. Light, Light blue. 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 Dark blue. Dark blue. blue. Purple. 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 Okay, so those are the colors we have. And then um, notice that we can use these words light and dark with all the colors just to indicate the tone, right? So, um, podemos utilizar estas palabras light y dark. Light sería claro, dark oscuro para indicar el tono de los colores, okay? All right, so now let's listen to a conversation where they mention colors and also possessives. Blue. Dark blue. We're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Blue. Let's listen and Dark repeat. Blue. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's right. a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. Okay, so there you have a conversation between Pat and Julie. They're talking about clothes and they had a problem, right? Yeah. So I need you to take a look at the conversation and tell me yeah. if you have any questions or doubts. Tenemos alguna pregunta de la conversación? Tal vez alguna palabra nueva? Desastre. Disaster. Disaster. Es disaster. 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 Any other okay. questions? Blouse. No more. Okay, so please repeat. Great. 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 Our clothes are dry. Oh, our our clothes, clothes are dry. Are dry. Where's my new blouse? Where's, Where's, Where's my, my new blouse? blouse? What color is it? What, what, what color, color is, is it? it? It's white. It's, it's white. 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 Here's a light blue blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. blue blouse. Is it yours? Is it, is it yours? No, it's not no. mine. It's not, no. No, no, it's not, not it's mine. mine. Wait. 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 It is mine. It, it is, is mine. mine. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh no. All our clothes are light blue. All our clothes are light blue. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. It's these new blue jeans. Blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Whose jeans are they? Are they? Uh, they are mine. Sorry. Oh, oh they're my, my, my. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so now let me select two people to read the conversation. Let's see. 
see. Let me have Jasmine and Gerardo. Read it, please. Jasmine. Great. And Great. Our clothes are, are dry. What is my new blues? What color is it? It's white. Her light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not. It's not mine. Why? It it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Is these new blue jeans? What jeans are they? Oh, they are mine. Sorry. Thank you, Jasmine and Gerardo. Okay, You're I need welcome. you to repeat, please. Dry. 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 Blouse. 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 Yours. 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 Mine. 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 Wait. 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 Disaster. 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 Here's. 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 It's. 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 Whose. 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 Okay, now let me ask Mide and Karina to read the conversation, please. Okay, but um, ¿quién comienza? You can start, Mide. Okay. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Karina Elizabeth, can you read, please? Okay, so maybe Andrea Michel, can you? Empiezo, oh. um, you continue with Julie's line over here. Okay. So, Empiezo. yes, please. Great or clothes are three. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is your? No, it's not my white. It is my. It's a disaster. Oh no! I'll all of the clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. What jeans are they? Oh, they are they my sorry. Okay, thank you, Andrea and Mide. Now please repeat. Dry. 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 Wait. 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 Here's. 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 Who's? 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 Okay, let me have another pair to read the conversation. That be Christian and Anna Bain. Christian, you okay. start. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blues? What color is? It's white. Here is light blue blow, blows. It's your? No, it's not my Wait, It is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, a lot of clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's this new blue jeans. Goose jeans are they? Oh, they are my. Sorry. 
Okay, excellent. Thank you, Anna and Christian. So please repeat once again. Blouse. 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 Wait. 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 Yours. 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 Mine. 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 All. 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 Whose? 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 Okay, we are taking one more pair to read the conversation. That would be Carlota and who hasn't read? Oh, it's only Carlota and Carolina. Can you participate, please? Okay, great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Air and leaf blues. Blues, it is your? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, are all blues are like blue? Here is the problem. It is these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Okay, thank you, girls. All right, so please repeat one last time. Blouse. Blouse. Yours. 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 Mine. 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 Disaster. 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 Old. 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 Clothes. Clothes. Let's see. Here's. Here's. It's. It's. Whose. Whose. Who's. There. 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 Okay, so as you see here, um, in the conversation we find how to use colors. For example, when we ask what color is it, I could ask you, for instance, Jasmine, what color is your blouse? Mm -hmm. It's the color. <laughs> oh, it's colorful. Okay. All right. Let's see, um, Karina Elizabeth, what color is your blouse? My blouse is pink. Pink, all right. Christian, what color is your shirt or t-shirt? My t-shirt is black. Black, okay, nice. So that's the way we ask for colors. Then you also see how we use the possessive, the possessive um, pronouns in this case. Is it yours? Es tuyo? No, it's not mine. No, no es mío. Wait, it is mine. Espera, es mío. So that's how we use the pronouns. In este caso, estamos hablando de míos, tuyos, and so on, right? In el caso de los adjectives, que ya, ya los vamos a, a detallar eh, más, pero solo para mencionar, ¿verdad? El correspondiente a mine sería my. Entonces, en este caso estamos hablando de la blouse, sería my blouse. My blouse. Estoy diciendo mi blusa. Si digo que es mía, mine. It's mine. So that would be a little of the difference between the adjectives and the pronouns. Let's take a look at them. Okay, so let's talk about possessives. Yesterday I told you a little bit about the possessive S. So we can always use the S to indicate that um, somebody um, has something or is a, or for, for talking about belongings, right? For example, when I say Mike's 
a um, backpack. Mike's backpack is green. Or I could also say um, Taylor's house is very big. I could also say my sister's friends are nice. So you see here how we use the possessive S. So right after the name, we add apostrophe and S. Acá para indicar posesión, solamente agregamos el apóstrofe y la S después de la persona que, eh, que tiene o que posee cierta cosa. Por ejemplo acá, Mike's backpack, el bolso de Mike. Taylor's house, la casa de Taylor. My sister's friends, los amigos de mi hermana. And then another thing that we should take into account is that when we have um, then we when we have names that end in s, we also add the s again. So for example, if I said Carlos, then I need to add another s. Carlos's um, let's say cell phone is new. So here, no importa si termina en S, siempre vamos a agregar el apóstrofe S para indicar el posesivo en los casos de los nombres que son singulares y aún así terminan en S. Luego tenemos el caso de los nombres que son plurales terminados en S. For example, when we say cats. Let me just write that. For example, in this case, cats fur or hair is soft. Cats fur is soft. En ese caso, tengo la palabra cats que está en plural, termina en s. Entonces, para las palabras en plural terminadas en S, solo voy a agregar el apóstrofe. Es distinta de Carlos, porque Carlos es singular, ¿verdad? Es uno solo, aunque termine en S. Acá necesito agregarle el apóstrofe S. Pero si en el caso de esta palabra, de cats, ya lo tengo en plural, entonces solo agrego el apóstrofe. Cats for is soft. Yeah, let's make another one. Cell phones. Prices are high. So here you see we got cell phones. Okay, so that's something we should keep in mind for the singulars. For the singular nouns, we add apostrophe s. For the plural nouns, we only add the apostrophe. ¿Estamos claros con esto? ¿Tenemos alguna consultita? Yo tengo una pregunta. Tell me. Este, no entendí muy bien eso de, o sea, si es un nombre y termina con S, siempre hay que ponerle la, el, apóstrofe, el apóstrofe y la S. Uh -huh. Pero si se habla de, no sé, otra cosa, si ya ves al final no se le pone la S. Sí, eh, la diferencia es entre los singulares y plurales. Acá estoy hablando de Carlos, que es un nombre propio, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y aparte se refiere a una sola persona, es un nombre singular. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. en ese caso sí voy a agregar el apóstrofe S. Pero en uh -huh. el caso de estas no, porque estoy hablando de los plurales, ¿verdad? El singular uh -huh. de cats es cat. Entonces, uh -huh. por ejemplo, si hago otra oración que diga My cat's fur is brown. 
Si hago, por ejemplo, esta oración, my cat's fur is brown, el pelo de mi gato es eh, café, right? Uh -huh. Entonces estoy hablando de un solo gato, el singular, my cat. Le agrego el apóstrofe S. Pero acá en este caso estoy hablando del plural. Cat. No, de varios. De varios. Entonces, ahí como ya tengo la palabra terminada en S, ya no le agrego ninguna otra S, solo el apóstrofe. Ah, bueno, entiendo. Gracias. Ok. Eh, yo tengo una preguntita. Tell me. Pero vaya, ahí dice que es mi gato. Es my cat. Entonces, y siempre le agrego la, el apóstrofe. Aunque yo sí. diga que es mi gato. Sí, acá siempre le agrego el apóstrofe porque estoy hablando del pelo del gato. Entonces el apóstrofe sería para indicar que es el pelo del gato, no que es mi pelo. Exactamente, sí, aquí tenemos doble posesivo, de hecho. My cat y luego cat's fur. Oh, yeah. Ajá, entonces este apóstrofe S siempre va modificando a la palabra que está eh, después. Oh, okay. ok. Gracias. All right, you're welcome. Any other questions? So let's try to make some examples. Abran por favor todos el chat y e intentemos hacer algún ejemplo. Lo mandan ahí por favor. Piense en una oración que pueda hacer utilizando el possessive. Possessive S. Let's see. All right. Christian's car is new. Very good. My son's is short. My son's hair, or what is it, Andrea? ¿Cómo? My son's, eh, ¿de qué estamos hablando? ¿De su cabello o algo así? Eh, me refería a mi hijo, es pequeño. Oh, okay. So in that case, um, you do not use the possessive. En ese caso, solo necesitamos el verb be. My son is short. Si estoy hablando, por ejemplo, del cabello de mi hijo, entonces sí, my son's hair is short. Tiene que ir siempre el hair. Sí, tendría que... que Se está hablando de él. De, sí, tendría que decir de qué está hablando, porque acá... Eh, o sea, estamos utilizando el posesivo y no lo necesitamos en esta oración. Ahí solamente uh -huh. nos quedaríamos con el verb be. My son is short. Ah, uh, ok. Uh -huh. Gerardo says, my mother's flower is red. Excellent. Jasmine, my house is big. So in that case, we have the same situation as in Andrea's example, Jasmine. In ese caso, Jasmine, igual solo necesitamos el verb be. A menos que lo cambiemos, por ejemplo, uh, my house's color is um, green or black or just whatever color. In that case, you need a, a possessive, but in this one, only the verb be. Let's see, Anna okay. says, my mother's home is very nice. Just add the verb be, Anna. My mother's home is very nice. Okay. Carlota says, my dog's fur is beige. Okay. Mide, my sister's boots are brown in that case. Mide, cambiamos el verbo a are porque estamos hablando de las boots. And Karina says, my sisters, my sister is a teacher. En ese caso igual, no necesitamos posesivo, solo el verb be. My sister is a teacher. Carolina says, my car, my car's color is white. Tendría que ser, Carolina. My car's color is white. Okay, I think everybody has participated. So let's move on. Now 
let's talk a little bit about the possessive adjectives and pronouns. Here I have the, ch the chart. And as you see, we have a different adjective and pronoun for each of the subjects. For example, for I, we got the, the adjective my in the possessive pronoun mine. For you, your, yours. He, his, his. She, her, hers. It, it's, it's. We, our, ours. They, their, theirs. So please repeat after me. My. 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 Mine. My. 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 Mine. My. 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 Your. 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 Yours. Yours. Your. Yours. Your. Yours. Your. His. 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 Okay, that one remains the same. Then we have hair. 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 Hairs. 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 It's. 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 Okay, that one is the same in both the adjective and the pronoun. Then we got our. Repeat, please. Our. Our. our ours. 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 There, there, there's, there, there, there's, there, there, there's. Okay, so let me explain about how to use the adjectives and the pronouns. So first of all, we got the adjectives that need to be together or accompanied by another word. For example, when I say my bicycle, my bicycle, or I could also say your computer. Tell me one using his, please. His cell phone. His cell phone. Okay, one with hair. Hair jacket. Hair jacket. Okay, now let's make one using its. It's computer. It's. Closer. What is it? It's closer. Can you repeat it, please? I couldn't get it. It's closer. Closet. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try that one. Now tell me another one using our. Class. Wow. Our class. Very good. In there. There. Work. Work. Okay. All right. So now let's try to make those phrases um, sentences. We're going to make sentences. For example, in the first one, what can I say about my bicycle? My bicycle is... Big. Okay. okay. Your computer. What can I say about your computer? New. It's new. Why? It's new. Okay. Uh, His cell phone. It's black. 
is black. Her jacket is blue. Is blue. It's closet. Is dry. Is what? Dry. Small. Okay, small. Let's see. Our oh. class is excellent. Is excellent. Okay. And their work is, let's say, perfect. Their work is perfect. Okay, so that's how we make sentences using the possessive adjectives. Algo muy importante a tener en cuenta es que siempre utilizamos el adjective y el nombre de lo que estamos eh, mencionando, ¿verdad? De lo que nos estamos refiri refiriendo. My bicycle, your computer, his cell phone, her jacket, its closet. Siempre debe ir acompañado de un nombre. Utilizo el adjetivo, luego un nombre. And now let's make some examples using the possessive pronouns. For example, you could say the bicycle. Oh. Bicycle is mine. The bicycle is mine. Ahí ya no digo my bicycle, sino que the bicycle is mine. La bicicleta es mía, right? En este caso estaba hablando de mi bicicleta. Mi bicicleta es grande. En este digo la bicicleta es mía. Let's make another one using yours. What could be an example using yours? The computer is yours. The computer is yours. Very good. Okay. Another one using his. The cell phone. Cell phone. His is his. his. Black. his. Mm -hmm. The cell phone is his. We say, or if you want to use the color, you could say the black cell phone is his. Okay. El celular negro es de él. Now let's make another example using hair. Hairs. I mean. The jacket. Blue. The jacket is hairs. Is hairs. Very good. Another example using its. The closet is your. Is yours. And let's use its just for making an example. Now use ours in a sentence. Give me an example using ours. Let's say this group is ours. Este grupo es nuestro. Theirs. Can you give me an example using theirs? They. Let's say that house is theirs. Esa casa es de ellos. So that's how we use the possessive adjectives and the possessive pronouns. La gran diferencia entre los dos sería que el possessive adjective no se utiliza por sí solo, siempre tiene que mencionar de qué, eh, a qué nos estamos refiriendo, ¿verdad? My bicycle, your computer, 
Y en el caso de los pronouns, lo utilizamos solo. Mine, yours. Incluso acá, si ya sé que estoy hablando de una bicicleta, podría decir, it's mine, it's mine, es mía. Or if I already mentioned that I'm talking about the computer, I could say, it's yours. Entonces se utilizan solos. Acá no puedo decir, mine bicycle. No, it's not correct. Is it clear? ¿Estamos claros con eso? ¿Tenemos alguna consulta? No. Okay. Eh, bueno. Oh, tell me. Ay, di disculpe. Cuando decía ours, ¿se ocupa siempre el this o algo así? No, no hay una regla para utilizarlos con distintos tipos de sujetos o complementos, ¿verdad? Ahí depende de lo que usted vaya a, a decir. A ver, sí. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno. Ok. All right, so now we are going to develop an exercise where we are going to use both possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. So let me see over here, we got, she has a cat. Okay, tenemos entonces esta oración. She has a cat. Entonces digo, it's... ¿Cómo digo que es su gato? What is it? Or it's his or it's her. Her cat. It's her, it's her cat. Then I say it's... ¿Cuál sería el pronombre correspondiente? Her. 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 Okay. So we got, she has a cat, it's her cat, it's hers. Ella tiene un gato, es su gato, es de ella. Ok, let me give you another one. Ella tiene un gato. El gato es here. Ok. We have a bike. We say it's... What is it? For we. It's... Oh, oh pardon. Our bike. And then we say it's it's ours. Ours. That's right. Nosotros tenemos una bicicleta. Es nuestra bicicleta. Es nuestra. Okay, next one. Okay, we got he has a ball. It is ball. It's his ball. And using the pronoun, we say it's his. It's his. Okay, let me get another sentence. I have a book. It's it's my my mm. book. It's it's mine. Mine, exactly. Tengo un libro, es mi libro, es mío. Okay. They have some money. It's their some money. It's their money. money. 
and it's theirs. Ok, ellos tienen algo de dinero. Es su dinero, es de ellos. Ok, so that's how we use the possessive adjectives and pronouns. Do we have any questions? Tenemos preguntas? Thanks. So far so good? Estamos bien hasta este momento? Good. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we're going to stop our class over here. We're going to finish over here. Thank you for participating. Take care and have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.